Hello everyone, welcome to study time. In this video, we are going to see class 5 marks, chapter 3, how many squares. So, I am going to explain this chapter. First, let us uh, see the basics. Then, we will be uh, seeing a few important uh, questions which will be uh, useful for you to understand the concept and then we will see some important questions that you might get during the exams. First, the basics, area. The area can be defined as a space occupied by a flat shape or the surface of an object. So, it can be of centimeter, feet, inches. See here, the area is measured in centimeter. So, here it is 1 centimeter, here it is 4 centimeter, here is 9 centimeter square here it is 16 so you, are, you have to count the number of squares it can also be in meters or it can also be in inches first we'll see the area of rectangle area of a rectangle how you can uh, measure is width into height or length into breadth square Square you will have all the sides equal. So, it is A square or A into A. Anything can be written A into A. Suppose here it is 2 meaning 2. If it is 2, the area is 2. You can write 2 into 2. Next, for triangle. So, it is half BH. So, half of breadth and height. Next, we will see the perimeter. Perimeter is defined as the path or the boundary that surrounds a shape. So, you can simply say that it is the outline of a shape. For rectangle, it is, you for rectangle, you all know that it is two sides are equal. So, you can write 2A plus 2B. For square, you all know that it is four sides equal. So, you can write as 4A. Next, for uh, triangle, it is all the sides can be equal or uh, non-equal. So, all the sides you have to just add. Next, area and perimeter. See this picture. Whatever is shown inside, it is area. This outline is called as the perimeter. See here, 4 units and 3 units are given for a shape, 2D shape. So, length into width. So, 4 units into 3 units is 12 units. Here, it is not specified whether it is centimeter or meter or inches. It is not specified. But anyhow, you have to write, simply write units. Here, for perimeter, it is 4 units. So, simply you have to add all the sides. Or you can write 4 into 4, which is also equal to 16 units. Next, measure stamps. Here, uh, stamps are placed in these squares. See here A, B, C, D, E, F. Look at these interesting stamps. How many squares of 1 centimeter side does stamp A cover? So, stamp A covers. Here it is 3. Here it is 6. So, 18 square centimeter. And stamp B covers. Here it is 4, here it is 2. So, 4 cross 2 is 8 square centimeter. Which stamp has the biggest area? So, here it is 18, we all know that. Here it is 8, here it is 6, here it is 12, here it is 4, here it is 12. So, from here, which is the biggest one? 18 is the biggest. So, A is the biggest. How many squares of does uh, of how many squares of side one centimeter does this stamp cover? You all know that it is eighteen. So here also it is eighteen. Which two stamps of the have the same area? So it is D and F. Here here it is three cross four. Here it is four cross three. How much area of these uh, stamps? Each of these stamp cover, mini, uh, you have to write 12. The area of the smallest stamp, 
here is smallest one is 4 that is E. So, difference between the smallest and the uh, biggest is smallest is 4, biggest is 18, 18 minus 4 is 14 that is the answer for this. Next, area of currencies which has the smallest area, 2 5 rupee notes together or a 100 rupee note. So, smallest one is 100 rupee note. Look at a 10 rupee note, is its area more than a 100 square centimeter? No, it will be less than 100 square centimeter. Next, comparing shapes, you have to compare, you are going to compare triangle, rectangle and square. So, this is a rectangle and this is a square. Rectangle meaning is opposite sides are equal. Square meaning is all the sides are equal. So, when you want to find the area of triangle, it can be from rectangle or it can be from square. When you want to find the area of triangle, you can write half into length into breadth or half into base into height. Meaning, so this part is half of this whole rectangle or square. How many squares in me? So, the triangle is of the rectangle of area 2 square centimeter. So, here a rectangle is given. So, in that you have a triangle. So, rectangle area is 2 square, 2 square centimeter. Okay. So, what is the area of this Triangle, so triangle equal to half of rectangle, then you will be getting 1, 1. So, its area is 1. Next, so here you have a rectangle and inside you have a shape. So, this big rectangle covers 8 square meter, 8 square centimeter. This inner shape is half of the big rectangle is yes. because this blue color part covers 1, 2. So, this and this covers 3 and this and this covers 4. So, it is 4. So, it is half of it. So, its area is 4 square centimeter. Next, write the area of given shapes in square centimeter meaning each square is centimeter given in centimeter. In two ways you can find the area of a given shape. Either you can uh, count the uh, squares which is covered or you can uh, do it with formula. First we will see the area of A. So, A here equal to half of here it is covering 4, here it is covering 3. So, 4 cross 3 is 12 here a equal to 6. Next, b. So, first roughly draw a dotted line so that you will know whether it is covering full shape or off shape. So, it is covering 4 full square, complete square and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 half square 8 into half and quarter 2 square. When you solve this, you will be getting 4 plus 4 plus so quarter 4 square. Here also it is 4. So, 4 plus 4 plus 1 equal to 9. So, this B covers 9. A covers 6. B covers 9. Next, C equal to 1, 2, this plus this is a 3 and this plus this is 4. So, C equal to 4, that is easy. Then, we will see D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this and this makes 6. So, D equal to 6. Next, we will see E. He, e covers, so make a rough dotted line so that you, you will find easy whether it is covering or not. So, we will see. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
சிக்ஸ் செவன் எயிட் நைன் டென் லெவன் டுவெல் தேர்ட்டீன் ஃபோர்டீன் ஃபிஃப்டீன் சிக்ஸ்டீன் செவன்டீன் எயிட்டீன் ஸோ மீனிங் இஸ் எயிட் கம்ப்ளீட் ஸ்கொயர் ப்ளஸ் சிக்ஸ் ஹாஃப் ஸ்கொயர் So, 6 half square are discovering here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then you will be getting 18 plus 3 which is equal to 21. So, E is 21. Next, F. F easily you can count 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4 plus here this, this, this and this. All these 4 are discovering quarter part of it. So, 3 by 4 of 4 plus 1 by 4 of 4. So, you will be having 4 plus 3 plus 1 which is equal to 8. Remember, each time you have to write in square centimeter because the um, measurement is given as square centimeter. For A, you have to write 6 square centimeter. For B, you have to write 9 square centimeter. For C, you have to write 4 square centimeter. Same way you have to write for the others. Next, area of triangle. So, here one rectangle is given and true two triangle is drawn. Area of big rectangle is 20. So, area of blue is half of it. So, the area of blue triangle is half of 20 is 10 square centimeter. Next, here is a rectangle of area 20 square centimeter. Draw one line in this rectangle to divide it into two equal triangles. What is the area of each of the triangles? So, this is the line which divided into two equal triangles. So, area of each triangle would be easy. Half of 20 is 10. So, that is what is given here. Next, draw one line in this rectangle to divide it into two equal rectangles. So, here you have 10 boxes. So, you have to make a line in the middle. So, 5, 5. So, here uh, area of uh, smaller one would be again 10 square meter, centimeter. Next, draw two straight lines in this rectangle to divide it into one rectangle and two equal triangles. So, what is the area of rectangle and what is the area of each triangle? So, this is this picture. So, if this is divided, it would be 10, it would be 5, it would be 5. So, the total you can uh, count and make it as 20. Easy, isn't it? Next, find the area of the following. So, here it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6. Together makes 7 and here and here it makes 8. So, totally it is 8 units. So, here they have not given whether it is meter or centimeter or uh, any uh, measurement. So, but you have to write whether it is unit. So, it is square units. 8 square units. Next, for this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Together it makes 7 and this it makes 8. So, it is 8. square units always write units next what is the perimeter of the following perimeter meaning is you have to write the you have to count the outer part suppose this is one unit 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 14 so here it is 14 units whether it is centimeter or meter it can be 14 next we will see for this picture so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 10 plus 10 you will be getting 20 units remember for area of the right square but perimeter you have you can write, just directly write it as unit if it is 14 cm you can write 14 cm if it is 20 cm you can write 20 cm next show the different ways you can express the following areas so 4 cross 3 is 
expressed in this way or 6 cross 2. Similarly, 18 can be written as 9 into 2 or 6 into 3. You have to draw the picture. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this way you have to draw for this 6 also. Understood? The same way for 8, it can be 4 cross 2 or 8 cross 1. Next, is the area of both the figures same? Give reasons for your answer. So, easily you can find here it is 9 units, 9 square units. Here it is half of BH. BH is 4 and 4. So, 16. So, it is 8 square units. Both are not same. What is the area of the shaded part? Easily confide here it is 4 square units. Here it is 3 and 3. Here it is half of 3 into 3, half of 9. That is equal to 4.5 square unit. That is the answer for this. Or you can check 1, 2, 3. This together makes 4 and this half makes 4.5. Next, here is a rectangle of area 8 square centimeter. Draw 2 straight lines in this rectangle to divide into 1 rectangle and 2 equal triangles. Find the area of new rectangle and area of each triangles. This is easy. So, this picture would be like this. So, here is area is 8. So, here it would be 4, here would be it would be 2, here it is 2. So, area of new rectangle would be 4 and area of each triangle would be 2. 2 square centimeter. Make sure you write the centimeter which is very very important. Chapter 3. How many squares ends here? We saw about area, perimeter, how to find area, uh, perimeter using a formula or using a counting the squares, all the possible questions from this chapter we saw. Hope this video is useful and understanding. We will we'll see the uh, next uh, chapter in the next video. I will give the playlist for this uh, whole class 5 maths in the description box. Go through it. Thanks for watching.